Hi, and welcome to our open stop motion film project. It had been a long time since I was on last time. Uh, I have a lot of, have uh, had a lot of stuff to do, so I have not been able to do it. But uh, now we are on, and uh, we have uh, made some change to the setup here. I have changed the, you can see I don't have any mics on the table. I have uh, <coughs> now this one. I have uh, no mic on the table. I have uh, changed it with a lapel mic because when we are making a kids workshop and uh, break we are in need of a uh, of a mic that can follow me because it's difficult or elsewhere. Um, it's difficult otherwise. So, but uh, as you can see, to get on with this, uh, you can see here we have a big tree, and that's the. Uh, this is a rough makeup of flint, but. Uh, He's up in a kind of a tree hut, him and his uh, friend had built, but uh, I'm not uh, finished with it yet, but that's what we will do tonight. Uh, we'll put this on here, I will call. So, uh, the story um, will be about uh, two boys in the Stone Age, who uh, two good friends, who and their adventures. And uh, oops, take it easy. It must be downhill. And a lot of their playing are uh, being around this tree where they built their uh, build a hut up top. So, but uh, they have to get up there. So I have made this. Uh, what camera is this? I have made this uh, rope ladder, ladder, so they can crawl up there, and then they have to have the mid moves. You can see material uh, up in the top of the tree too. So that's what we will prepare for them now, so we can kind of draw it up there. And of course I forgot something, but I will get it. A stick in here. I will take a couple of them. I think I have now. <clears throat> it's kind of big, so we will move it a little and then. Is sitting. It's not. So, and you cannot see anything. 
moves the camera a little. No. I have to stand up to do it. So. I think this will do it. We will see. Okay. We got black screen and poor movement. So, yes, you can see. So, I don't expect they have rope in this color where they are living, so maybe it's easier to do it this way. So we will give it a little color. It's easy. Much easier. If you had to use a lot of string, then you would uh, color it in another way. You would dip it in. Today, <coughs> sorry, we are not going to use a lot, so we will do it in this way today. Oops, on the table. the plan. <coughs> Sorry, but I have a cold. Good. We'll try again. Oh, it's still not. We'll try, try with this one. See if that's better. But once more. <coughs> Cut a bit of piece of this cardboard. Because we are gonna glue also. Let's see. And by the way, we did also 
make, I forgot that, some flowers like these, you can see here. And we made a lot of that. And I want some yellow flowers on here too. Okay, on the screen. So, but we can do that afterward. And uh, I want to make some uh, light blue ones too. And I will do that later. <coughs> Not tonight, but another night. <coughs> so. You cannot see that. Let me go to the, the other camera. See, we will make it from up here, from this branch, and down here, and so when they draw in the rope, they can. I will <coughs> I move my hand, then they can drag material up there. I have grandkids, so that's why I am cold. They come down from school with every kind of stuff. Bacteria. I will take something to hold. A little wise. Oh, what do you call it? <coughs> the camera. The camera is over there. See, just something to hold the stick. Then I tie a knot. See, the plan is to do it like this. So this piece up in the branch and then this one, the rope go around like a block on a, a ship so they can uh, turn it around a couple of times so it's easier to draw stuff up there. I was so smart so to uh, Cut my fingers on the scissors. Okay, we can make it bigger so it's easier. Now when I draw in it, it gets tighter. So. so, 
and of course we can cheat with some super glue. Down on the stick too. But you can see that with all these, and I have to make hundreds more, several hundred more uh, to the different plants in the, on the forest floor. So you can see it takes a lot of time, but it's kind of satisfying to do. And then We'll take this one we just tie a normal knot. Because you, when you do this, it's uh, okay that it's it's a big nut, so it looks kind of home done, like these two boys would have done it. <coughs> I will go and get something to shorten the sticks with. We have that stuff here. Little tools. It's, it's all the time, it's a trial and error. There's nothing, I have not on forehand figured everything out. I try stuff and hopefully it works, I you know, kind of have it in the head and then to or 
hope it will, it will work. And then, and then, the reason for this is that you want it to be parallel with the uh, bit. And you see, parallel with this one little guy here, down there, yes, if I hung it like this, then you will not it will not work, really, so. And now, I will just, see now I should have a camera man. Give it to me. Okay. Now we need a, a long one. Sorry for this running around, but I thought I had everything in here before I started, but. Uh, that's obviously not the case. See, I will show you this, this, this. No, so up there. I don't know how along this is needed. Better think, take a long one. It's difficult to put something on again. See. Oops. The idea is to <coughs> put one up around in the top and down around this one and up again and top and round and down or shall I start here up down and down yeah let us try that but first we need it to give it some color. Some color. Okay, let's be smart to start with the other. This way, yes.
maybe uh, loot buy some another kind of color to this This is not the right way to do it, but it works. I don't know what your word for it is, but it's kind of uh, powder you you use to uh, paint wood. Not exactly paint it, but kind of color it. My language is the name is Spitzer, but uh, we can Google it. impressed on how it works.
that's the thing you experience when you all the time improvise, improvise. And <laughs> you run into these. Get there, but slow. But the bigger on the top, lint on the top is just a rough uh, markup. So most for uh, so I kind of can see the scale of things because <coughs> there are so many things you have to get in consideration you not just uh, make the stuff uh, right, right sizes compared to each other but you need to have in mind you have to take pictures and Some pictures will be close up and some will be distant. To give the uh, illusion of uh, scale and so on. And then you have to, I have to make this one in a very big one too, but the, because I have to be able to shoot pictures up from under it and that's uh, kind of demanding on sizes and then you have to ta take the localities uh, the studios size size in consideration too because I cannot go and hire a big studio somewhere with high ceilings. So I have what I have and I have to figure out how to do it with that in uh, in my in back on my head all the time. So With tons of money and tons of people, then it's easy. Not easy, but you know what I mean. It's easier, more easy. Or what you would call it.
but I have none of it. It's me and my little room. And that's that. My little studio. See? Now we will see if the sword and the, the real world come together or it's just a bad idea. See? And the thought was because if you do it like this, you can lift heavier stuff. And these two kids are smart kids. You always think that people in the Stone Age was dumber than we are. They won't. They were not. I know that they maybe not they were maybe not able to do the same thing as we do, but they could do the stuff that they did much better than we could. So don't Now it was nice with we have something heavy. And we do. Something wrong here. I have twisted the battery. We will take it down again. Right way in. And the right way in here. Okay. <coughs> I will not 
Okay. It's <laughs> Why is this happening? So, uh, what would happen? they have done. And I would make a block, but uh, what did I do? Yeah, why not? Or if they don't. Because it don't stay in the middle of the of the, but it kind of works. Oh, I know what they would have done. Would have done. That's easy. Would have Let's see. Yes. I will try some more of that later on because you can make a, a kind of a dent in this. So the <coughs> the rope stays in the middle, or you can. I'm trying to think of what they would have done. So or they would put two <coughs> and uh, made a a kind of a what will you call it? Yeah. Oh. No, I cannot. 
a hole in in between the two, so you kept you kept the the rope between. But uh, I will go and th I'll think a little more of that be before I decide. I know we use blocks, so that's easy. But I don't think they used block at that time. Because at least you get it to stay in the middle, you don't have any problems. <coughs> I will show you. Don't get seasick. Where is it? There is it. Uh, you can see now it slides to the side, but as soon as I draw in it. But if you can get it to stay in the middle, then you don't have the problem. And I would think they would have made a scar or something like that. Uh, a cut in the middle, or they will have made it with two <coughs> and a hole between those two. So that was kind of a a, a canal between between them. So I will be experimenting a little bit of that. <coughs> so because, as I said, we we would we would have used a block to to do it like on a boat or sail ship. But, uh, <coughs> but they didn't have blocks at that time, I think. So. We will postpone that to later. I'll have done that the next time. So it works. And through here. So Now we will put, where is it, here is it, so, <coughs> hmm. now we will take our fine flowers out. And remove this. Oh. How is that? No, you can still see. And we don't need the mouse right now. Or do we? So, because I want some yellow ones over here. Uh, 
I'm going to get that tool. The pliers. I just like this one. And one more. So it's a little summer like, right? Oh, our friend here, Flint, is this trumpet fallen. And feel that now I haven't spoken English for a while, then it's a little difficult. But we will get back in the routine. But uh, and then you can see we need to get. Uh, can you see the? Some small thing we have to fix on the tree too, but and then we have to have a branch on here too, like these ones. But uh, I waited for that until I have this uh, crane put up. So, but uh, as you can see, it's not that good right now. <coughs> but Flint and his friend will fix it to next time. So I will say thank you for watching and, uh, and I will first see you again uh, Monday uh, and next week and from now on it will only be every Monday with uh, stop motion and then tomorrow it will be a kids workshop and uh, Wednesday it will be uh, be break 
where we are preparing a boat, a, a big boat, but it can be everything. And the kids workshop is uh, just happens to be a boat too, but uh, it can also be everything. We don't, uh, the only thing that is uh, kind of the same every time, that's, uh, that's a stop motion because it just an enormous work and keep on and get a uh, get on with it and, and so once in the future I will be finished right but that will take several years before that's all so we have to one step at a time and then but but I have put that to mute but I didn't I think or else it will all write the news I don't know but then I will say thank you and uh, see you t uh, tomorrow to kids workshop if you're interested in that stuff or else We'll see you Monday. Bye-bye.